Chapter 15, The End of Bandcamp. Oh, really? Okay. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Week 3 of Bandcamp. At this moment two weeks ago, I was brimming with enthusiasm and optimism for the future. It's true that a lot can change in only a little time. All right. Finish up stretches and block it up! Clark doesn't have his clarinet. He marches without an instrument today. Get set! Set up the show for a run! A run this early in the day? Yes! We're gonna run it on repeat. We'll work out the kinks as we go. Huh? We never do runs in the morning, especially not on repeat. Let's go! Well, now we do. Shut up and get off the field! We're gonna practice marching on. You heard him. Let's go, everyone. Clark, I... He walks swiftly away. Never mind, then. I wanted to tell him that I read his note, and I'm not going to let him face this alone, but I suppose now is not the time for it anyways. I've got a band rehearsal to run. I take my place at the front of the band to lead them on. I can hear everyone whispering behind me. Mr. Wiley stalks about, looking livid. Stop talking! Anyone who talks gets to run a lap! <laughs> Does that include you? Damn. Damn, alright. Peter, run a lap. Uh -huh. What? I also that includes suction leaders. It does. Now run a lap. Grumbling, Peter puts aside his trumpet and takes off. I admit that I feel some sick satisfaction watching him be punished. <laughs> Cadence, please. Anyone else? Not a peep. We wait for Peter to rejoin us, and it's time to get to work. We run the show all the way through. Then we run it again, stopping to repeat any set that wasn't good enough. Then we run it again. I'm not even doing half of the work that everyone else is doing on the field, and my skin is already slick with sweat. On the fourth run, I find an opportunity to sneak away for a water break. I can't take these holes anymore! We need to do something about this! Like... Bring back the trombone section, maybe? No! I want the low brass to spread out. Space yourselves more evenly. Like this. While he deals with that, I pour water down my parched throat. It tastes like heaven. Pop-tart. I think you mean dark tart. Pop-tart! Uh-oh. Are those two going to go at it? Clark strides over to Pop-Tart, grabs him by the shoulder, and whirls him around to face him. Mm. Don't touch me! I have a complaint. Speak when you are spoken to! You're drifting too close to Olive on that last move, and I can't get through between the two of you. You need to leave more space so I can reach my spot in time. That sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> when did Pop-Tart turn into Bully Maguire? <laughs> I fail to see how that's my problem. It's gonna throw some dirt in your eye, Clark. Be careful. Don't sass me. Just take my advice and do as I say. I won't be able to make it to my spot in time if I hang back and wait for you to go through. So I guess you'll just have to deal with it. If I see something wrong, I am going to correct it. That is not how this is going to work. You're going to take small steps in the beginning, and then make up for lost ground with larger steps. Shut up! And leave me alone. Worry about yourself. How dare you! How dare you speak to an upperclassman like that! And how dare you talk to me like I'm incompetent garbage! I'd rather be dead than listen to you for one more second! Damn. I'm- I'm- is it bad I'm kinda like Team Pop-Tart on this? <laughs> You're not garbage. Garbage would certainly march better. I think you're about to get stiffy stabbed. Suddenly, Pop-Tart is up in Clark's face. Shut up! You don't have any right to speak to me like that! As if you're one to talk! You should heed my advice if you want this band to get better! 
I don't give a crap about this band. Then leave. We would be better off without you. That's enough! I shove in between those two to keep them from doing any more damage. You heard it yourself. He doesn't care about the band. He doesn't deserve to be here. Clark, you know that's not true. Isn't it? People like him are a cancer to this band. They're just dragging us down. How will we ever attain excellence? How will we ever get out of here? <laughs> You're... never mind. <laughs> Okay. That explains why you're, like, focused on it now. Like, now you're like, okay, we're never gonna leave unless everyone bands together. Haha. -ha. But, like, before, you were, you were like this before when there was no hostage situation. <laughs> they are not dragging us down! Everyone has a right to be here. We're all equal. We're not, and you know it! I feel like I've been punched in the gut. For some reason, I hear Clark's past words echo in my mind. I worked harder than you, and I wanted it more than you, but it was not enough. Mr. Wiley favored you. Clark! Pop-Tart! Run a lap! Ugh. Clark looks shell-shocked that he's been being disciplined. As if in a dream, he slowly turns and jogs towards the perimeter of the field. Pop-Tart hesitates to follow. It's not fair that I'm being punished when he started this. Is this the bait club? No! This is marching band! Now run a lap! Pop-Tart is moved into action, and before long, both of them are running around the field. Everyone else exchanges wide-eyed glances, not daring to speak nor laugh. Everyone, get set! Set up for another run. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm stuck eating by myself again with Clark nowhere to be found. But I don't think I can face him after that explosive conversation anyways. It looks like my initial instinct was right all along. We can't be friends. This void between us, caused by rivalry, is too much of a gap to cross. I'll just ignore what he wrote in that note about how he's putting this on as an act to protect me, and that he wants to be friends after we get out of here. <laughs> I should just forget about him. Hiya. Hey, there's my boy. Tom? Mind if I sit with you? Sure, but why aren't you sitting with Peter and the others? Because I need to talk to you. He lowers his voice and leans in close. I'm gripped with deja vu. First of all, um, I just want to be sure this stays between us, okay? Promise not to go running to Clark or Mr. Wiley about this. Okay. I promise. Not like Clark will let me talk to him anyways. Thanks a lot. No one else wanted me to tell you, but I trust you. You deserve to know. Deserve to know what? We are going through with the escape plan. We've all been working to dig a tunnel under the electric fence and it's almost complete. Damn! Good on you guys. I, I was hoping you would do that. I'm like, just go through with your plan and leave these two, you know, deniers <laughs> out of it. They're all in Delulu land. Leave them in Delulu land and get out of here. The trombone should be finishing it this afternoon. Really? Really. We're getting out as soon as we can. It'll probably be done before this evening's practice. Will you come with us? Uh, no. I want to. Thank you, Tom, for telling me. But a drum major goes down with the ship. <laughs> and her boy. So I'm not leaving Clark behind. I'm staying with him. We'll both get killed. It'll be fine. I'm sorry, Tom. I can't. Nah, I understand. You are the drum major. Gotta set a good example in all that. But, you know, we're still leaving no matter what. There won't be anyone left to set a good example for. I know. That doesn't change my mind. I get it. Just... 
Please don't tell Mr. Wiley about this, okay? I won't. Please. And don't tell Clark, either. We saw how that turned out last time, didn't we? My lips are sealed, Tom. I promise. Even if I don't feel very good about it. He leaves and I finish up my meal. Then I head back to my room for a short break before afternoon practice. Godspeed, everyone. I hope you get out of here, okay? That required a lot less exertion than morning practice. I take my time packing up to leave, but before I can, Mr. Wiley approaches me. Whenever I lay eyes on him, I feel sick to my stomach. I hope this isn't another chat about which side I'm on. I especially hope he hasn't caught wind of Tom's escape plan. Cadence? Y yes sir He holds something up. A clarinet case. Oh, Clark's clarinet! He ran off before I could give it to him. Would you make sure he gets this? Yes, of course. Thank you so much. Sorry it took so long. I don't think you took long at all. Eh. Well, I wanted to do a good job. Anyways, see you for tonight's practice. It's gonna be another doozy, so rest up! Another doozy? Ugh. It's gonna be a real doozy if the whole band's gone. I'll worry about that later. Right now, I need to get this to Clark. He's going to be so happy to see it. Clark? The door opens a crack. He's not here right now. Oh, do you know where he is? No. I see. Thanks anyways. Most of the band is hanging out by the lake, but Clark is nowhere to be seen. He's not in here eating dinner, either. Oh! Clark? What are you doing here? <sighs> I forgot we were playing this game. Well, might as well give him his instrument. I hold it out, refusing to meet his eyes. Here. <gasps> my... my clarinet! You found it! I did. I committed the crime of property damage to get it, then I gave it to Mr. Wiley to fix it because it was broken. He opens the case and inspects it. It was broken. It looks as good as new. I'll have to thank Mr. Wiley later. He closes the case with a click. Yeah, make sure you do. I turn to leave, but something stops me. I whip back around to face Clark, glaring at him. You know what? While I have you here actually talking to me, there's something I'd like to say. What is it? I glare at him fiercely. He returns my glare, his eyes great chips of ice just as they always are. But his eyes cannot touch me. I've spent these past few days gripped by cold loneliness, and I'm done. My heart burns like fire as I return his gaze and summon my words. You need to stop coming down on everyone else in the band all the time for their mistakes. You need to realize that nobody's perfect. I'm sure a lot of these kids were looking for a purpose, for friendships and excitement, and found it in band. Just like you did. Chasing them out of it would be taking that away from them. That's why, as good as an addition-only band might be, I could never hope for our band to become one. You love music. You can't imagine your life without it. You want to be a teacher and inspire your love for music and others? Then stop trying to take it away from everyone. Tears bloom in my eyes. And one more thing. You don't know... You don't know how hard this week has been on me. I took your side. I went against the entire band alongside you, and then you just... You just left. You froze me out. I didn't want you to... I know! I read your note. I know you were doing it for my own good, but the damage had already been done, Clark! I didn't care what anyone thought of me. I was ready to fight alongside you because I care about you. I care about you so much. Admitting that out loud tears my chest apart, especially since I don't know if he feels the same. He just stands there, staring at me. 
Tears roll down my cheeks, which feel like they're on fire. My throat hurts from screaming. That's all I have to say to you. I turn and walk slowly away from Clark, quivering with emotion. The weight I've been carrying these past few days threatens to consume me, but I won't let it. I have to remain strong. For the band, and for myself. Cadence, wait! A soft hand touches my shoulder, almost hesitantly. I stop in my tracks and glare at the ground, refusing to look at him. I'm tired of being hurt by him. You're... You're absolutely right. And... I... The pain in his voice catches me off guard. I turn and lift my eyes to his. Slowly, gently, Clark takes me in his arms. Aww. It's so beautiful. I love it. He's so close. I wonder, can he feel me trembling? My tears soak his shirt, but he doesn't even seem to mind and continues to hold me. I'm sorry. Those two simple words are soaked in pain and regret. You are? Yes. I'm so sorry. My desire to achieve excellence has made me blind and cruel. And it's made the rest of the band loathe me entirely. But they can't possibly hate me as much as I hate myself for what I've done. Clark. I saw the way everyone looked at you after the meeting on Friday. And I saw the way Peter came after you on Saturday. I even caused you to lose your closest friend. So I tried to put distance between us to try and protect you, but... Well... That only made things worse in the end, didn't it? Instead of preventing your pain, as I had hoped to, I was the cause of your pain. I care about you too, Cadence. Yet I have done nothing to show you that. I only ever caused you grief. Even though I am not deserving of your forgiveness, I hope that... Maybe one day, if you find it in your heart... He trails off. Neither of us say anything for a long moment. It's okay. It's not. Then, slowly, almost regretfully, Clark pulls away. Yes, it is. I forgive you, Clark. But you have to make it up to me. You have to stop this constant pursuit of excellence. You have to let yourself fail, and let those around you fail, so that we can learn and succeed the next time around. You don't have to be drum major. You don't have to be part of the band that scores first place. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. You can just be you. You are enough. And the people who are worth it will see how wonderful you are for themselves. And Clark, you have to stop holding me at a distance. Sometimes, I feel like you're an entire ocean away from me, and all I want to do is swim to you. But I can't reach you. You're a wonderful, hard-working person with a unique sense of humor. You're a talented musician and a creative artist. I want to know you. I want you to know me. So, please, let down your walls. Letting my walls down is a good way to open myself up to hurt. But you are still opening yourself up. To new people, new experiences, new feelings. The things that make our lives so much more colorful. Let me show you. It's worth it. Then let me give it a shot. Cadence. I... I confess. I do not want to do this anymore. Marching band is no longer fun. I'm scared. I'm scared of what Mr. Wiley might do. What the others might do. 
To both me and to you. I just want to go home. Oh my goodness, Clark. I'm getting all choked up. <laughs> I miss my cat. I miss my family. I even miss that damned dog. I want to go home and get away from all of this. Sleep in my own bed again. Eat decent food. I can't take this anymore. It's too much. That's it. Huh? This can't go on. You're living in fear. The band is ready to go rogue. We need to talk to Mr. Wiley. He needs to let us leave. You're right. I am? I mean, of course I am. I just didn't expect you to agree with me. I do agree with you. Now let's go. I am, um, I mean, yay for ha communicating and opening up feelings and, um, communicating. Did I say that? <laughs> I'm going to say it again. Um, and also for, like, wanting to work together to convince Wiley. But I think you might be a tad optimistic about this. But hey, if nothing else, you can run distraction while the rest of the band escapes. So there's that. We nod to one another, and warmth spreads through me. For the first time in days, I don't feel so alone. Clark is by my side, and here he will stay. I will not let anything divide us again. Unless it's Wiley with a gun. We're here. Mr. Wiley, are you in there? We wish to talk. The door opens, and there stands a rather ragged-looking Mr. Wiley. I hadn't noticed it until now, but he's just as tired as the rest of us. What do you need? May we come in? Sure. Back in here again, I feel a little more confident now that Clark is with me. So what's this about? Clark looks to me. I guess I'll start. It's time to bring band camp to an end, sir. That's not for you to decide. Let me make my case. First of all, the show is farther along than ever before. We've gotten so much done and we have an entire season ahead of us to perfect it. Just look at where we were two weeks ago from today and think about how far we've come. Uh-huh. Still not convinced. Fine. Then take a look at the band. You said yourself there are sides. Not only are we incredibly drained from all of the practices, our family is starting to tear at the seams. Everyone is stressed out. Soon, extending band camp is going to do more harm than good. It's time to pull the plug. It's time to let us go home and recuperate before the school year begins. I think I've convinced him. So what you're saying is... You're not on my side. Huh? You're ready to give up on this band. I thought you were more committed than that, Cadence. I thought... I could trust you. Looks like I was wrong. Mr. Wiley, if you would just listen... I am listening. And I've listened to you for long enough. It's now obvious to me that I made the wrong decision on who should have been this band's drum major. What? No! I can't even speak. I feel like a huge hole has opened up in my chest, sucking all my breath away. You're just like Miss Craft, Cadence. Leaving behind a marching band that needs you now more than ever. Selfishly thinking of only yourself and what will benefit you. I wouldn't have brought up Miss Craft if I were you. If you want Clark on your side. This band doesn't need another Craft. It needs someone who would never give up on it. Someone who would die for it. It needs a Wily. Mr. Wiley tears his eyes from me and looks to Clark. Clark? Ugh. I know you're on my side, and I know you care about this band just as much as I do. You've always been loyal, haven't you? I... If you stay, I'll protect you. I won't let anyone hurt you. No! No! 
I want to leave, just like the rest of the band. Nothing you say or do will change my mind. Nothing? Not even if I offered you the position of drum major. <laughs> what? You can't- I'm the band director. I can do anything I want, including abolishing drum majors who do not fulfill their duties and replacing them with someone better. Someone... better? Yes. You realized it too, didn't you? Your conducting put Cadences to shame. I chose her because I believed she would have my back and inspire others. What a shame that I was so wrong. All I ever wanted... I... I just wanted to do what was best for the band! Since when do you know what's best for the band? You're not its leader. Not anymore. P please sir if y you would just l listen to reason that's enough out of you you're no longer part of this band i have no reason to talk to you he won't even look at me i am no longer of his concern i feel my knees buckling there are tears running down my face but i barely even feel them through my shock all i ever wanted to do was what i thought was right for this band and now i'm no longer even in the band Think about it, Clark. The power. The prestige. My parents would surely be thrilled. All of Blue Mountain would be thrilled. For once in their lives, they would have a reason to be proud of me. You would lead this band to victory. I know you would. Because I see myself in you, Clark. You do? Yes. At first, I wasn't so sure about you, but now I see the truth. You're not afraid to get stuff done. You know when to cut the fat off the steak. How does this sound? I will give you the power to kick anyone you deem unworthy out of the band. If they are dragging us down, just say the word and they'll be cut. Damn, he's really making a very tempting offer. Oh god, what is that face? Why are you, like, half dead? What happened to you? Is that what, is what was left of your soul just left after that offer? And you're like, Yes, my master. I will be Darth Clark from here on out. <laughs> I, I really hate that you both have shadow, <laughs> shadow sprites. It's all you ever wanted, isn't it? So what do you say, Clark? Would you like to become the new drum major of the Blue Mountain Bandits marching band and help us achieve excellence? <laughs> I mean, I don't doubt Wiley would just, like, go through it. He's... I mean, it's no skin off his nose. <laughs> um... Come on. Come on, man. Don't go to the dark side, please. Hold on, let me actually say the line, I guess. Clark, remember what you wanted. What it is I wanted. I wanted to be drum major. No. You wanted more than that. That night, you bared a piece of your soul to me. You told me that you wanted to inspire your love for music and others. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. My eyes well with a fresh wave of tears. Clark, I know how badly you wanted Drum Major. I know you wanted it even more than me. Band fills the hole in your life. You can't imagine a life without music. But even if you didn't get everything you wanted, you can still do the right thing. You can still help this band. Of course. Yes. That's what I've been doing all along, isn't it? In my own twisted way. <laughs> Truthfully, I hated you for taking drum major from me, Cadence. But it was a hatred driven by envy. 
and even though it's been a short time, you are the closest friend I have in this band. And through getting to know you, I've realized the truth. The truth? Clark whirls to face Mr. Wiley, his eyes flashing furiously. <laughs> Wiley's like, ah! Cadence is the best drum major this band has ever seen! Wh what She may not be the most talented conductor there ever was, but she possesses natural leadership and a spirit I could never hope to achieve. She truly knows how to inspire others, and I could never be a drum major fit for this band unless I took the time to learn from her example. Clark! Now you'd best stay out of our way, sir. We are going to lead the band to freedom, and you can't stop us. Damn! Alright, let's go! <laughs> we saved him from becoming Darth Clark. Clark takes my hand in his, and together we leave a stunned Mr. Wiley in the dust. Oh no, you're not leaving here. W where do you think you're going? You can't leave! I won't let you! Clark ignores him, and together we leave behind Mr. Wiley's dingy office and emerge outdoors. Where he chases us down with his gun. Clark, did you really mean all of that? Of course. Of course I did. I wouldn't say something I didn't mean. Thank you. I truly meant every word. No matter what Mr. Wiley says, you are this band's drum major. And I want to apologize for the way I treated you and the rest of the band up until now. You don't have to apologize. Your heart was in the right place. Yes, I do. My heart may have been in the right place. But my actions were not a reflection of that. I'm sorry. I let emotion cloud my judgment. And for that, I am... completely and truly sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Oh, Clark. I do forgive you. You already know I do. I want to strive to do better. For myself. For the band. And for you. We'd better keep moving. Aw, so sweet. Let's go tell the others. We are going home. Hmm. Thank goodness the others were already busy, like, working on that plan. Because <laughs> you guys took so long to come around to it. Where is everyone? I don't know. Hello? <laughs> I love that in all the, all the emotional... Emotional turmoil. Cadence is just like... Did somebody tell me that they were leaving this evening? Hmm. Even the cafeteria is empty. I don't believe it. Don't believe what? What's wrong? Everyone's gone. <laughs> 